Good afternoon, my little explorers. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Everyone, today I'm gonna tell you a secret. Listen carefully. We don't have a new lesson today because we are going to revise what we have learned in the previous lessons. You know why? Because next week we have a science exam. And I want you to get a full mark. So what I am going to do today is to revise the lessons that we have studied before. That's why I need you to be focused and also listen carefully. Who's gonna help me today to read the day and date? Me. So let's read it together. The day is Tuesday. And the date? April 28, 2020. Well done. So are you ready to revise what we have learned in the previous lessons and to get a full mark? Yes. So everyone, stand up, put your hands in the air and shout, I will get a full mark. Put your hands in the air. So are you ready to revise what we have learned in the previous lessons? Yes. So I want you to stand up, put your hands in the air, clap your hands three times and shout, I will get a full mark. Let's do it. Hands in the air. Clap your hands three times. I will get a full mark. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to recall what a landscape is and also identify different landforms. So everyone, in the previous lessons we have learned what does a landscape mean and also what does a landform mean. So let's try to remember the things that we have learned before. So a landscape is the stretch of land that can be seen from a place. An area of the landscape can be high on a mountain and on a slope or slant. Another area might be low. Some landscapes may remind you of shapes. Look at the photo below. What shape do you see in the land? So as you can see here, is the mountain and the top of the mountain looks like a triangle also a landscape is what you, you can, can see, see when you look across an area, area of land well then let's see it one more time a landscape is what you can see when you look across an area of land so look at the two pictures, this is a landscape and also this we can call it a landscape. Well done. And something else, a landscape has natural elements like water, rocks, animals, plant life. And also a landscape has things built by people like houses, roads. Well done. So everyone, a while ago I talked about landscapes and now I will be talking about landforms. I want you to get your science book and to open page 38. So let's review what we have learned about landforms. So can you give me an example of some landforms? Hills, valleys and plains and mountains excellent so these are landforms so let's compare between mountains and valleys what can we say Mo mountains rise very high above the surface of earth a large deep valley is called a canyon so mountains are very high and above the surface of earth, while the valleys 
are large and deep and we call them canyons. Well done. So everyone, make a model of a landscape. Include the land forms in the photo below. So as I said to you, the landscape will include water, rocks, what else? Mountains. Mountains. Trees. A lot of things. Trees. What else? Rivers. Excellent. So, you are going to draw, let's say, a landscape. And this landscape has different land forms. Okay, it's up to you to draw the landscape you want. So, drawing should include mountains and plains in different areas. So, let me draw here a landscape. A landscape should include or it may include, let me say, uh, mountains, rivers, rocks, trees, and so on. So, I can draw a mountain. This is a river. And also a valley because the valley the valley is a landform is a landform and where you find the valley in nature in nature and usually the valley is between two mountains two mountains well done so it's up to you to draw the landscape you want and then add some land forms so here we go on the following slides you will see two different tasks so you can choose to complete task one or task two so let's read together and answer these questions so an is an area of land that is surrounded by water what is it everyone an island well done so the answer is island well done here, a student is drawing a map that shows different land forms. She wants to make a plane on her map. How should she draw a plane? So, an area that is tall, an area that is flat, an area right next to an ocean, or an area in between two mountains. So what is the correct answer? B. An area that is flat. Well done. So now let's move to question number three. Okay, here we go. Which of these are landforms? Choose all of the correct answers. Is the river a landform? No. No. Valleys? Yes. Oceans? Yes. Oceans? Oh, no. No, it's not a landform. Plains? Yes. Mountains? Yes. So, the correct answer is B, D, and E. e. Question number four. The letter on the map represent look at these letters these letters represent oceans or continents a or b b well done may maya let's say maya or let me change it to maha maha sees a small place of land with water all around it on map what is she most likely seeing a continent an ocean or an island an island well done this is the correct answer task number two match each vocabulary with, with its, its picture. picture well done so everyone what do you see over here a mountain grassy mountain so we're gonna match it okay and here map what is the map the second and the second picture and where's the island Next the last one 
finally circle your face reflecting your understanding after finishing the lesson and its review if you can answer the question below quickly and correctly circle the smiling face if you are not sure circle the one on the left side if you can't answer at all circle the sad face and let me know to help you mention two of the landforms that you studied about finally don't forget to upload your work in your portfolio on class dojo have a nice day everyone